Welcome to Log and to Learn Podcasts, North Lanarkshire Library's Learning Takeaway. This series of podcasts will help you to revise for Module 1 of your ECDL course, the European Computer Driving Licence. And don't forget, if at any time you want to know more, you can always visit our website at www.logintolearn.com. This podcast will provide you with information on ergonomics. The term ergonomics refers to the relationship between workers and their working environment. The following aspects of the working environment should be taken into account when assessing whether or not a working environment is suitable for computer operation and whether or not it conforms to legislation. The provision of adequate lighting and ventilation and that VDUs are appropriately positioned with screens free from flicker and interference and images free from glare. The provision of monitor filters and anti-glare screens if required. The suitability and adjustability of chairs to provide the prescribed posture for the user, that is, feet on the floor and a comfortable height in relation to the desk. The provision of a mouse mat or suitable equivalent surface. A suitably positioned keyboard, not too far away from the user. The provision for frequent breaks away from the computer. Ten minutes after every fifty minutes work. It is an employer's responsibility to ensure that appropriate provisions are made available but the employee has a responsibility to ensure that he or she makes use of them and goes about their job in an appropriate manner. A workplace that has swivel chairs with adjustable positions, stable, roomy desks, etc. will provide a working environment that is comfortable and safe. Furniture and equipment needs to be suitably positioned conducive to the type of work for which it is intended and to conform to the relevant health and safety at work legislation. Health issues. Injuries common in an IT environment are aches and pains, especially to the back, due to bad posture when seated for long periods. Repetitive Strain Injury, or RSI, caused by poor ergonomics combined with repeated movements of the same joints, for example, wrist, over a long period of time. Eye Strain, which can be caused by glare or flickering from a VDU and by not taking regular visual breaks. Ten minutes every hour is recommended, away from the screen. Injuries due to tripping over trailing wires or other obstructions. Precautions. No trailing or insecure power leads or other cables. No worn or frayed power leads. No overloaded power points. In any work environment, your employer must display the health and safety policy in a prominent place. Make sure you know where the policy is in your place of work. You can find up-to-date information on health and safety laws and guidelines that specifically affect the use of IT on the website of the Health and Safety Executive at www.hse.gov.uk. The relevant law is the Health and Safety Display Screen Equipment Regulations 1992. The Environment It is desirable that certain steps be taken in an IT workplace to minimise the effect of working practices on the environment. Where possible, recycle waste paper. 
where possible recycle ink and toner cartridges from printers and copiers. And where possible use energy efficient monitors with low power options. Use PC settings that enable sleep or standby mode for hard disk drives and monitors when the devices are inactive. And where possible, save documents in an electronic format within the computer system rather than printing out hard copies. Thank you for listening to our podcast. For other podcasts to help you to complete the European Computer Driving Licence and more information on our services, go to our website at www.logintolearn.com or call our free phone help number at 0800 953 1010.